I'm Tuna Davidson, and this is my story. When I grow up, I want to be an astronaut. I want to because I love the thought of traveling to an undiscovered world. First, I already have some of the skills that I need to have to become an astronaut. They are, I know a lot about the solar system and science. I have also read a lot of books about space, so I know that stuff. Second, I will need very good schooling. I will need a degree in engineering and doctoring. I hope to attend Caltech. If I don't get into Caltech, I would try to get into Stanford or UCLA. I would like to go into space more, but working for NASA would suit me. As you can see, I would probably make a reasonable astronaut. That's what I want to be when I grow up. I had wanted to be an astronaut ever since I could remember. That was kind of my thing that I went to when someone was like, what do you want to be when you grow up or, or you know, career day choice. And I think that came a little bit from my aunt who works at Boeing and would always bring me trinkets from places that she'd traveled. This is signed by Sally Ride. This was a bear that my aunt gave me. And it's something that I've actually cherished over the years because I think that it was a physical manifestation of what I wanted to be when I grew up. But Sally Ride was definitely one of my big motivators and big inspirations. I had always been told that, yeah, you know, soccer is great, but also pay attention to what you want to be when you grow up. So I always kept playing soccer and kept enjoying it and kept working at it, but I also had a more academic career path that I was looking at as well. I was looking at colleges for soccer, but it, it wasn't any huge names. Um, and I was, I was looking at places that I could go where I could also get a really great education to pursue a career path, possibly in aeronautics. It wasn't really until I committed to Stanford that I thought, you know, maybe this could be a different career path for me. Uh, maybe I could really make something out of it. I attended almost every sports game that Stanford had to offer. My dad went there, so he was a huge fan and took us to football games, baseball games, basketball games, and then of course soccer games. So I grew up watching many famous players, including Kelly and Kristen. This is a Kelly O'Hara jersey. She was number 19 when she played at Stanford. Does she know you have that? No. <laughs> I have never mentioned it, but she will find out when she watches this video, I guess. It was really just an integral part of our life. When Stanford gave me an offer to, to go there, it was, it was really like, well, it fits in so well and it just feels right. My first call up was kind of an out of body experience. I had to keep my cool and act like, you know, this is just another soccer team that I'm coming to play for. And I feel so lucky to be able to learn from such veteran players, but it really does feel kind of like full circle playing on the field with some of the players that I've been watching since I was young. I am doing what I love to do, and so I feel like I, I fit in with this group of girls. And sometimes I kind of have to remind myself, oh, you know, you're 20 and, and you're the youngest here. And so you have a lot of stuff to learn from everyone else. And when I got the call from Jill, kind of just feels like the start to a whole nother journey as well. So as far as I've come to get here where I am today, I also feel like that call was the beginning of, of the next journey. 